One day can change your whole life. <laughs> For me, that day was July 10th, 1981. I love this song. I had just turned 18. Hey, it's too loud. Come yeah. on, don't touch it. These guys rock. Woo! the day we killed Patrick Jason Connolly. Somebody help! It was a death that took me away from Gilroy. And a death that finally brought me back. I'm sorry to have to have been the one to tell you about your grandmother since we hadn't spoken in so long. <laughs> you were such a good friend to her. Every time I called her, she would say, things bad all the <laughs> Great adventures you see from her. Oh, oh. I'll be with you in a second, honey. Oh, okay. Hi, Allison. Marilyn? Hi. Sorry about your grandmother. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, I didn't know that she knew her. Not very well. We went to the same church. She was there every Sunday. Except, of course, those two weeks that she went to visit you in Europe. Yeah. Did you know I'm married now? I heard. Ray Baxter. Yeah. We have a son, Tony. He's eight. Congratulations. Ray got elected to chair of his father. Then I guess you Yeah. Hey, Casey, it's me. Jeremy, what's up? Looks like I owe you 50 bucks. You were right. About what? Allison Buchanan. She's back. You saw her? Oh, yeah. All right, don't worry. She'll, she'll be out of here as soon as the funeral's over. What if she's not? I'll call Ray. Great. Allison, if you need anything, you can reach me at the hospital. I work in administration. Thank you. Bye. So you've been back to the house yet? Uh, no, I came straight from the airport. I'm gonna head back there now to unpack. How long are you planning on staying? Oh, as long as it takes. As long as what takes. You know what I mean, Beverly. They ruined my life in more ways than I could have imagined. And I can't move on until the truth comes out. Allison, you have a life. You live in Paris. You're married to a successful chef. Jean-Paul and I divorced four months ago. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. My grandmother never said anything to me. I didn't tell her. You know how much she worried. But you see, I can't even keep a relationship going. What happened to you was a terrible thing, but 
sometimes it's better to let the demons from your past stay buried. Not when everyone else goes on as if nothing has happened. Jeremy Warner is head of the hospital now. KC owns the third largest auto dealership in the state. Yeah, he's now running for state senator. Politics, yeah, he'll fit right in. Look, thoroughly, I know exactly what I'm up against. But now that my family's all gone, I promised myself that I would come back here and deal with what happened. Listen, why don't you come over to the cafe tonight after I close up and, and we'll talk over a coffee. What do you think? Well, thank you for the offer, but I've been on a plane for seven hours. I just want to go home and get settled. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Please. Why'd you pull me over, Ray? Are you saying you don't have a license, ma'am? Long way from home, aren't you? Was there a reason that you stopped me, or were you just in the mood for a chit-chat? I know you have a lot on your mind with your grandma's funeral home. And I assume once you get her things in order, you'll be mighty anxious to get out of town. Now, do I figure that right? Well, I just got here, right? Trying to get rid of me so soon? How long do you plan on staying in Gilroy Alley? Well, that depends. Depends on what? On how long it takes people to admit what really happened to that little boy. Those people have their lives built here, Allie. This ain't fun and games to them. And you think spending three years in prison for something I didn't do was a game, Ray? Losing my scholarship? My father getting cancer and me not being able to see him before he died? You think that was fun and games, Ray? Allie, just calm down. I am calm. Believe me, though, I'm not playing any games. Now, am I free to go? Take my advice, Allie. For your own sake, don't go starting any trouble. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind.
Explain your play. Good boy. You can go play your video games, huh? All right. <laughs> Don't forget to brush your teeth tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony. Oh, thanks, Marilyn. That was the best dinner I've had since um, the last time you cooked. <laughs> so what did the mechanics say about the car? Was I right? It was just the battery, huh? I didn't get a chance to take it in today because I went to Eleanor Buchanan's funeral. And how was that? It's a beautiful service, you know, very touching. Was Allison there? Yeah. Did you talk to her? Mm, I, I didn't get a chance. Congratulations, Miss Buchanan. You have been accepted to Lansker University for the fall semester. I'm so proud of you, honey. Open that, I'm gonna take away your keys. You've had enough. I just wanna to talk to Allison. I don't see the harm. Well, you should. Think of the ramifications for you and for everybody else. Besides, what do you think KC would say about it? I don't give a rat's ugly behind what KC would say about this or anything else. Hey, guys, Tony's upstairs. Lower your voices. Maybe we should talk about this when you're a little more sober. Oh, sure, Ray. You can't think of anything to back up your argument. You just accuse me of being drunk. Well, if the shoe fits. Uh, I don't need to hear any more of this. What's to look for? Is there anything you don't do without Casey's permission? Please, not this again. Ray, is this about what's best for your brother or what's best for Casey? Mayor, look. He's my brother. I love him. But he's not stable. Who knows what he'll do? I don't understand your inability to do anything except what Casey tells you to do. It's ruining your relationship with Quentin. Not to mention our marriage. Hello? Marilyn, it's KC. Hold on. Speak of the devil. KC, what do you want? So? So what? So how's Quentin taking it? We all know how he felt about her in school. Are we gonna have a problem or what? No, there's no problem. He's, uh... He just left. And he's, you know... You know, he's right there with us. Oh, well, knowing that's coming from you puts my mind at ease, Ray, because it's gonna get awfully complicated for all involved if he's not. Don't worry. We're all on the same team. That's right. We are. All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. What's wrong? Come on, I can tell. What is it? Problem I dealt with 25 years ago was decided to rear its ugly head. How big is this problem? Well, 
remains to be seen, I suppose. Big enough to cost us the election? Possibly. Oh. Then we'll just have to take care of it, won't we? Why don't you come to bed and tell me all about it? Rough night? I've had it worse. Huh. Couldn't be too terrible. It's a pretty nice boat you got here. <laughs> it's not mine. I, uh, I, I just managed the marina and I watched this boat for some rich guy. Oh, I don't know what to say to you. Even though I've played this conversation out a thousand times in my head. Well. Maybe you could start with an apology. I'm sorry, Allie. I never wanted any of that to happen to you. You were my best friend, for God's sakes. So why'd you lie? I was a kid. I went along with a crowd. I did a lot of stupid things. Besides, it wasn't that simple, Allie. Sure it was. You hung me out to dry so you could save your own ass. There is not a day I don't think about what we did. To you, that little boy. That's it? What do you want, Allie? I can't take back what happened. Stop being such a victim, Quentin. There is something you can do. You can tell the truth. What? Now? Here. What's this? Ad rates for the Gilroy Sun. Full page cost $2,000, and I'll pay for it. Are you out of your mind? You're going to tell the whole truth, Quentin. About how we went down to the lake and you and KC got drunk on the beer that Ray bought us? No. And you're gonna say how I wasn't drunk. But the KC grabbed the wheel while I was driving, put his foot down on mine on the accelerator, and then after the accident, you and KC ran away and left me there? 
Then got Jeremy to lie and say you were with him? You're gonna tell it all, Quentin. No, let's stop, Allie, stop. That's never gonna happen. That's something you should have done years ago. You were a kid then. You made a mistake. But that excuse doesn't wash anymore. You've lived with this lie for the last 25 years, Quentin. You could wake up tomorrow and never feel that burden again. Plus, I'm not leaving Gilroy till the truth comes out. No, that's not a good idea, Allie. Things can get real bad for you here. Oh, yeah? Well, you can tell them to rethink whatever little tricks they have up their sleeves, because it won't work. And you? You're gonna have to make a choice, Quentin. What did she want? What, are you staking out my boat now? This is serious. What was she doing here? Nothing. I gotta go open up. Listen to me, little brother. You need to keep your distance. Don't let your feelings for her get in the way of doing what's best for everybody else. Fine. Quentin. KC called me last night. He's worried about where you stand. Screw him. Casey can worry till he's blue in the face for all I care. Just promise me you won't talk to Allison Buchanan anymore. And don't let her come on this boat again. And I should take that advice because... Because if you had one ounce of sense in that head of yours, you wouldn't even ask me that question. Just... stay away from Allison. Or if this ever hits the fan, I won't be there to save your ass. Last name Buchanan. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Allison. Marilyn. I, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming to my grandmother's funeral. You're welcome. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm just really busy. They got to you, didn't they? Let me guess. Ray told you to stay away from me. No, of course not. Marilyn, you might think you know what happened, but you don't. No, it's not okay. Get your butt over here. I'll cover your losses if that's a problem. I can cover my own losses, Ray. Just listen, just listen. You can just tell those idiots they can play without me. Damn it, Quentin. Guys, sorry I'm late. It's all right. Let's get this show on the road, huh? Any up? Where's Quentin? Oh, some minor emergency at the marina. He's not gonna make it today. Probably just tired of losing. I don't think he's won a hand in the last three games. You know, I think you're right. It's a shame he's not here, Ray. I was looking forward to discussing our little problem. KC, there is no problem. I say we let her run her mouth as much as she wants. She's just gonna make herself look stupid. It's the same thing that happened 25 years ago. 
Nobody believed her then, nobody's gonna believe her now. Brave, that's not the point. Folks have had 25 years to forget this mess. Not to mention all the people who've moved here since, who don't know anything about it. People who pay taxes and people who vote. Now, you really want her dredging all this stuff up, making accusations? You wanted to tell everybody that Jeremy lied to the police about Quentin and I being with him that day, hmm? You wanted to come out that it was you that gave us the beer? Wonder what the public would think of that. Think they want a sheriff that lies under oath? Supplies alcohol to kids? Whatever she says, she has no proof. You think that makes a difference, Ray? The only thing that matters is what people believe. Now, there's no way I'll be elected if people buy into her story, and you don't think it's going to have a negative effect on his practice? He's right, Ray. That bitch can cause a lot of damage. Hi, guys. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ellie. You're home early? We weren't short tonight. Yeah. Quentin couldn't make it. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I hope he's not out for good. I'm sure he understands how important he is as a fourth for your game. Quentin wanted to be here. Trust me. Not in the mood for poker tonight, or were you just uninvited? Allison, how did you get this number? Answer my question first. I wasn't in the mood. Now, why don't you tell me how you knew about the poker game? You think I'd come back here without doing my research? I hired a private investigator to keep me updated. Oh, you guys. I know that the four of you play poker every Wednesday night and have been for years. That way, KC can keep his eye on you. Well, it sounds like your PI did a pretty good job. You know, Quentin, maybe the reason that you decided to stay home tonight was because you wanted to think about what I asked you to do. We just don't think you're taking this seriously enough, Ray. You need to make sure that Allison doesn't influence your brother. She won't. Will you guys stop worrying? Can't take any chances, Ray. We all have too much at stake. You guys are driving me crazy. Are we gonna play poker or what? You know, the longer she stays in town, the more she's gonna try to get close to Quentin. We've gotta stop her. It's your bet. Their honeymoon's in France. How'd you hear that? His fiance stops in for a cappuccino every morning. Oh, for a cappuccino every morning? Uh-huh. What time? About 9.30. Oh, well, I'll be coming in around that time tomorrow. Be great to see your beautiful smile. Oh, thank you, Beverly. Drop by. OK. We'll have a little chat. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye, hon. Bye. Hello? Who is this? If you think that childish little games like prank phone calls are gonna scare me Open away... The front door. Why? Just open it. No, I'm not going to, and I'm unplugging this phone, so don't call here again.
want you to look. Don't give them what they want. A little gift that was left at my door last night. <sighs> These are the people you're protecting. You still think they deserve it? Allison. Allison. That'll be just a second. Take your time. Good morning, Allison. How you doing, hon? Oh, I'm fine, Beverly. What can I get you? Your usual croissant? You bet. Allison, this is Bridget. Bridget is going to Paris for her honeymoon. Oh, congratulations. I just got back from Paris. I lived there for 10 years. We're going to travel all around Europe, actually. My husband's going to take two months off from work. Oh. So who's the lucky guy? Jeremy Warner the director of our hospital. Oh, you're engaged to Dr. Warner. Yeah. Do you know Jeremy? Yes, I do. Wow. I hope they let him out of the country for your honeymoon. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I just meant that when the truth comes out about Jason Connolly, Jeremy's going to be in the midst of a media frenzy. Media frenzy? I have no idea what you're talking about. And here you go on. Thank you. Maybe you should ask your fiance. Hey, honey. Jeremy, who the hell is Jason Connolly? Involved in a media frenzy. Uh, Jeremy, what's going on? Well, she's gotten to Brigitte. We got to deal with this now. All right, 
Tell me what's happening. Jeremy, what a surprise. I don't think so. And I don't appreciate you upsetting my fiance. You want to talk about upset lives, Jeremy? Look, I've been thinking. And I hope it doesn't have to be all or nothing with you. Maybe we could negotiate something. What do you mean? Just come and talk to me at the hospital. And I can't get away today, but I can make some time here. How about around four? I'll be there. Great. Yeah, Casey, what do you want? Allison's really starting to piss me off. Now we got to deal with this and deal with it right now, so listen up. She's going to the hospital at four. Stop her and arrest her. Look, I don't like it, okay? Don't do it. Make sure she never gets there. Hey, don't worry. There's only one way from her house to the hospital. Step out of the car, please. What? Allison, just do it. <sighs> Ray, what is going on? Stay here and don't move. <sighs> I was just going to see Jeremy. Well, well, well. What have we here? You just put that there. Convicted felons are not allowed to possess firearms, Miss Buchanan. That is not mine, and you know it. And how would I know that? Looks untraceable to me. Serial number's been filed off. Guess you knew it was illegal. You bastard. Looks like a lot of laws have been broken here today, Allie. Sorry, you're under arrest. Once a liar, always a liar, right, Ray? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. I really don't need to read you your rights, do I? You've heard them all before. Okay, turn and face the other way, please. Hold that. They kept the original deed to the house as collateral. The bondsman said that the bail wouldn't normally be this high, but because of your prior conviction. Thank you so much. OK, OK. What do you want to do now? Let's go get my car at the impound. OK. Tony's friend invited him to go crabbing. Oh, yeah? I just dropped him off. Huh. How you doing? Well, not my worst days. Not my best. <laughs> you know how it is. How are things between you and Ray? Not our best days, either. Sorry to hear that, Marilyn. 
Quentin. Can I ask you something? What really happened with Allison Buchanan? I mean, what really happened? I'm saying that you should reconsider, Allison. Honey, what good would it do for you to go back to jail? They've taken so much of your life already. How can you let them take any more? They can't go on knowing that I let them beat me twice. Well, let me tell you this, my love. It's not a perfect world, and it's certainly not a fair one. If I give up now, it means that what they did was acceptable. And it wasn't. Not for me, and not for Jason Connolly. Casey grabbed the wheel, stepped on the gas, and I didn't do anything to stop him. So everything she said was true? Every word. None of it was her fault. Oh, my God. Casey came up with a story that me, him, and Jeremy were all together that day, that we left Allie alone at the lake, and the three of us guys went down to play football at the school. And we all told the police that Allie was alone in the car when it happened. a mistake like that. You'd sell your soul to take it back, but you know it's too late. You're right. It is too late to take it back. But it's never too late to make a difference, Quentin. I am so glad I fired that agency. Look at these comps. These new guys are so much better. All right, these are good. This one's nice. So what happened? Did it work? She used her grandmother's estate to post bail. That's to be expected, but don't worry. She'll give up. This isn't worth going back to prison for. I hope your instincts are right on this one. Aren't they always right? You're wasting your time, Quentin. If a bogus arrest can't run me out of town, there's nothing that you're gonna say Just to hang on, hang on. What bogus arrest? What are you talking about? Ray planted a gun in my car and arrested me. What? I'm out on bail. Uh, I can't believe they'd go that far. Look, Allie, I didn't come here to force you to leave. All right. Then what do you want? I came to tell you that I'll do it. What? The newspaper article. If you write the confession, I'll sign it. You know, I wanted to come and see you when, when you were in prison. Then why didn't you? I don't know. I just couldn't. You were my best friend. How could you do that to me? People do stuff when they're scared, I guess. I can't tell you there isn't a day I haven't thought about you. And I'm wondering where you, where you were, what you were doing. What made you change your mind? Because things haven't been easy. Gina divorced me because of my drinking. Got a daughter I haven't seen in four years. And I lost the house last November. 
Ray pulled a few strings and got me the gig managing the marina. But I just want to do one thing right for a change. One thing. You know, we both know Casey's an all-around jackass. He pretty much always has been. But I also know that I betrayed you worse than he did. You meant more to me than anyone in the world. When you needed me, when it came time to protect you, I let you down. I know I can't change the past, but maybe I can give you a future. The one you deserved all along. You know, when we were kids, I kind of got the feeling that you sort of liked me. <laughs> <laughs> but you never said anything. How come? I don't know. I don't know. You were dating Casey. I mean, he was Mr. Popular. I guess I just thought you wouldn't go for me. I did write you a few letters. And a really <laughs> silly poem, but they just ended up in the trash. Oh, things might have been really different if I just had the guts to do the right thing, tell the truth before it got too late. Well, you're doing the right thing now. I'm glad I caught you. Actually, I was just going to run some errands. Yeah, that's all right. I just wanted to give you a check for the slip ring. You could have mailed it. You're right. I could have. But I wanted to see you in person. Been kind of worried about you, Quentin. It's very thoughtful of you, Casey. And I wanted to let you know. I feel terrible. I really do. About what we did to Allison. I can tell. What I'm trying to say is we can either stand together you and I, or we can let that bitch take us down together, and that I'm not going to let happen. You may be able to strong arm my brother into arresting Allison, but you are not going to tell me what to do. So I'd appreciate it if you get the hell out of here. Don't do something you're going to regret. Casey, all four of us committed perjury. We could go to jail for years if she convinces the jury we set her up. With Allison being arrested, we have ruined any credibility she might have had. True, but if she's convinced Quentin to back up her story, then we're screwed. What if she had an accident? End this whole thing once and for all. Killing Allison is a last resort. It's gonna look pretty damn suspicious if she dies now. Fine. And come up with something. I mean, you're the one that came up with all the ideas so far. Actually, they were my ideas. In case he's right, killing her is too risky. Mm. Quentin is the only wild card here. Well, what about Ray? Don't worry about Ray. We'll handle him. We always do. All right, then. What's the plan? I know exactly. Dear citizens of Gilroy, there is something that I need to confess to you. Almost 25 years ago, a teenager named Allison Buchanan was arrested for vehicular manslaughter in the death of Jason Patrick Connolly and sentenced to five years in prison. She served three. 
but Alison Buchanan was innocent. No one else was charged because everyone believed that she was the only one at the scene. But that wasn't true. I was there, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. I need some diesel. Please don't get cold feet on me. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm calling for Quentin. Allison, it's me, Marilyn. I have his cell phone. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? <sighs> he was drinking and had an accident last night. They think he fell and hit his head. The doctor's induced a coma. He's in ICU. Oh, my God. They don't know if he's going to make it. I got to go. Marilyn? Marilyn? Who was that? Oh, just, um... Someone from Marina. They wanted to know how he's doing. some moron shows up and decides to call an ambulance, the point, Jeremy, is that we are worse off now than we were before. Quinton saw Ellie. Oh, they're monitoring his ICP. If it doesn't drop by tonight, they're prepared to do surgery on him tomorrow. Yeah, okay. So what are the chances that he is going to recover? That can't happen, Jeremy. Do you understand? Yeah. such a long time. Shame we couldn't have met under better circumstances. Well, it's pretty convenient that Quentin has an accident now, isn't it? Come on. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I think you had something to do with it. Here we go again. You should know, Allison. Accidents do happen. You look good. Hello? 
is he? You really shouldn't be here. Ray, please. I just came to see Quentin. Sorry you can't see him. They're not letting anyone in right now, not for a couple of hours. Can I talk to you, Ray? Privately? Now's not the time. This is important. It's about Quentin. We can talk back here. I don't think that Quentin got drunk and fell. I think he was attacked. Why do you say that? Because he came over to my house yesterday and said that he wanted to admit everything. He was supposed to meet me this morning and sign the confession for the newspaper. I mean, it's just too much of a coincidence, you know? I mean, Casey knew that even if people didn't believe me, they would believe Quentin. Look, Ray. Don't let him get away with it. This is your brother that we're talking about. You owe it to him to investigate what happened last night. Look, I hate Casey as much as anyone, but Allison, do you really think he's capable of murder? Casey is capable of anything. But then again, you know that, don't you? Did you hear what she said? What if Casey really is responsible for what happened to Quentin? Mayor, I'm a cop. Unlike Allison Buchanan, I can't go around accusing people without any proof. Oh, you are unbelievable. So you're not even going to investigate it? <sighs> That's it, Ray. I need you to tell me what this thing is between you and Casey. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's better if you don't know. Then Tony and I are leaving. You're not the man I married. Mayor, you don't understand. That's right. I don't understand. OK, then. OK, then you will. Two years ago, remember when my mom was in the hospital right before she died? Well, her insurance ran out. And the bills, there was no way that she could pay them. And right about that time, we busted this drug dealer over in Cantonville. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the guy had $50,000 in cash in his house. And I took some. Oh, right. It was there, it was drug money, and I needed it. Guy's wife figured it out, turned me in. KC, KC knew some people. Internal affairs looked the other way. Mayor, I would have lost my job. Probably would have gone to jail. I owe. I owe Casey. Mm. But please, please don't leave. I love you. You and Tony. You're everything to me.
Sorry to do this to you, Quentin. And these medication mix-ups happen more often than you think. At least you won't feel a thing. After Quentin died, everything felt different. It was as if Gilroy was nothing more than a deep, dark hole that swallows people up. Some people went on with their lives like nothing happened. For some, their lives were better. As for me, well, part of me wished that I'd never come back. The bigger part of me wanted justice more than ever. I'm sure Casey is involved, and if Ray won't investigate, then I will. I'm going to start putting together all the information about Quentin's death. Will you help me? What do you want me to do? You have access to medical records, right? Mm hmm I need a copy of Quentin's file and a list of all the hospital staff that worked that night. Okay. I do know one of the nurses really well. Um, she was on duty working the graveyard shift when Quentin died. You think she'll talk to me? Maybe. Allison, I want you to know that Quentin told me everything that happened that day. He felt so guilty. He, he cared a lot about you. I know. How's Ray? Not so good. I am so sorry. Quinn was a lot like Ray. Yeah, they both made their share of mistakes. But I believe they were good in their hearts. talking to Marilyn earlier, and now she's chatting it up with Quentin's nurse. All right, come over to my place. We'll discuss how to deal with this. 
I don't see the problem, Jeremy. You sure this will work? Yes. All you got to do, you pack her bags like she got out of town. Boom. But what if Marilyn questions it? So what if she does? There's no body. There's no proof. Now, Brigitte, is she going to wonder where you went? No. She's driving up to D.C. for a few days to visit friends. So there you go. No worries. By tonight, all our problems will be solved. All right, you better go. I'm going to keep asking questions. I don't care if I have to talk to every single employee in that hospital. I'm going to get to the bottom of Quentin's death. Well, you know this is going to be an uphill battle, don't you? I, I know, Beverly. You're right. All right, well, don't be up all night, OK? Yes, I will get some sleep. Take care of yourself. You too. Good night, hon. Good night. I need to talk to you. Sure, come on in. Drink? No, I don't want to drink. I need to know that you had nothing to do with Quentin's death. Why would you even say something like that? I'm requesting an autopsy, Casey. If anything turns up that makes me think that you or Jeremy had anything. They won't find anything, Ray. I told you. Quentin died because he slipped and fell. That's it. He was my brother. I understand that. And I sympathize with your loss. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sign Allison's confession for the newspaper. Let everybody know what really happened. OK, Ray. That is a really bad idea. For your own good, you might want to let that go. Sorry. It's what my brother would have wanted. Quentin is dead. So as long as you and your little wife can keep her mouth shut, things are going to go on pretty much as they always did. And what about Allison Buchanan? She's not about to stop either. Oh, I disagree. I think Allison knows she's in over her head. Hey, KC, it's me. Everything's going on as planned. I packed her bags and we're heading toward the farm. All right, you know when to call me. Sure do. That Jeremy on the phone? You up to something, KC? Don't be so paranoid. Then where is he? What's he doing? What am I, his nanny now? You know, I don't know who or what you are anymore. Uh, I think you better stick around, Ray. Get your hand off me. Listen. I said get your hands off me. That's enough, Ray. Step back. Oh, I'd do it. I told you this would happen, Casey, just like his brother. No, no, no. He's not like Quentin. 
He understands we're on the same team. Always have been, always will be. Have a seat, Ray. You didn't hear the lady? She said, have a seat. Pass the time. Come on, buddy, deal us a hand. You ever heard of solitaire? Suit yourself, Ray. So what's the plan, Casey? Another accident? Another slip and fall? I told you, I had nothing to do with Quentin. The less you know about Allison, the better. You're never gonna get away with this. How's Marilyn, by the way? You leave her out of this. This has nothing to do with her. I don't think she was implying that it does. I worry about Marilyn, though. Didn't you mention she had some sort of car problem? If anything happens to Marilyn or Tony, I swear I'll kill you. Sit back, Ray. Don't be so melodramatic. You have the power to save them from any harm. It's your choice. You're right. You're right. It is. Where'd Jeremy take Allison? Relax, right? Take it easy. In another hour, you're gonna be back at home with Marilyn, and everything's gonna go back to the way it always was. Unless you don't want it that way. No, he does. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Feel us ahead. Well, I'm due for a refill. Want a drink, Ellie? Sure. <gasps> Get over the couch. seconds to tell me where Allison is. You're not gonna shoot me, Ray. I will if you don't tell me where Jeremy took her. It's too late, Ray. It better not be for your sake. Tell me, KC, or I will shoot you. This is badge 5283. Go ahead, Chap. Yeah, I need backup at 10 Ridgely Street. It's in paramedics. There's a suspect that's been shot. 10-4. You want to play this game? He's bluffing. You think I'm bluffing, Casey? 
You're a gambling man. Call my bluff. I think you're bluffing. Don't move. Where's Allison? I don't know! Your choice. Too bad Ellie's gonna be a widow. <laughs> I took her out to the woods. The woods where? The old Fenton farm. Give me your cell phone. Give me your cell phone. Slide it over on the floor. Hey, KC. It's Ray. KC and I are on our way out to see you. Oh, hey, Ray, that's good. I could use your help digging this hole's a real bitch. Where are you exactly? Just take the back road up to the Fenton place. We got the car hidden in the barn. Is she dead? Not yet. Good. Because KC wants a word with her. So just hold on till we get out there. Sure. You, you better hope and pray she's okay. Can't get away, Allison.
don't know how glad I am to see you, Ray. So, what's going on? Man, you have no idea how ready I am to kill this bitch! Just calm down. Where's KC? Still in the car. Now you two were to... Together. Not anymore. Change of plans, pal. Uh, don't play the hero now, Ray. You need the past to stay buried just as much as we do. Too late. It's time to tell the truth. This has gone on way too long. Casey and Ellie were already arrested. I'm not going to jail, Ray. Put your hands behind your head and get on the ground, Jeremy. I said I'm not going to jail, Ray! And I said get on the ground now. Do it! You have to shoot me first. I will if I have to, Jeremy. Jeremy, freeze! I just wanted to come by to give you this. Quentin's class ring. Yeah. Thank you. I think he would have wanted you to have it. So, uh, what are you going to do now? Oh, spend a lot of time with my lawyer, looking for a job, but, uh, most important, Marilyn and I, I think we're going to work things out. Good. Yeah. I spoke to the DA about getting your record expunged. Oh, yeah. He called me. He said he didn't think it would be a problem. That's good. Good. I can't say the same thing for Casey, Jeremy, and Ellie. They're all blaming each other, trying to bargain with the DA. Can't say I'm surprised. They always were good at backstabbing their friends. Unfortunately, so was I. Allison, I'm sorry. Thank you. If you ever need anything, <laughs> you take care of yourself and good luck. Ray? Yeah? Your brother would have been proud of you. I'd like to think that.
miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, too. Thanks for everything. Are you sure you don't want to stick around here a while? Oh, I'm sure. No. You know, for the first time, I feel like I can really leave Gilroy. Yeah. Give me a hug. 25 years ago, one day changed my whole life. But I guess you never know when that day will come again. <laughs>